Hello everybody, Rado King here. Welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So today, we're going to be taking on the Time Limit Category Super Battle Road here. Uh, you know, I feel like we have a lot of fun trying to do these, trying to get these done and everything like that. Um, seeing if we can challenge ourselves, maybe do some tif different team builds and seeing how well things go here. Maybe it'll be difficult, maybe it will not. We'll see. Um, oh, I forgot that I have intros on. Um, but yeah, uh, I was about to do the Bardock versus Super Boo. No, not Super Boo, Boo Absorption event, but I unfortunately did not have the right RNG for that. And I guess Bardock is not that great, you know, counting on him in terms of like doing things <laughs> accordingly trying to survive with the boy bardock is uh rather impossible to say the least so i will not be able to do a showcase on him even if i wanted to uh so it's pretty bad right i'm not gonna be able to uh do his showcase because of you know it, it, it's bardock man i really tried really wanted bardock to get his moment of shine and things like that but it's uh, it's just impossible man bardock has so much so much holes on his kid that really need some fixing right and it sucks right i i kind of wanted to like bardock i really did but they they struggle they struggle on these like tough difficult fights when you have a snowball character like him he, he's going to be a, a pain to, like, throw a showcase out and see how well he fares on these tough events, right? Uh, so, on that regard, I decided, you know what, let me get these out of the way because not only is, you know, some stones, it is some things that we can be able to do, videos that can be uploaded. Some of the Super Battle Royale videos do good in numbers. Some of them don't, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, people can enjoy them and stuff like that. Um, we can be, uh, especially on this one, we can be able to bring the fusions in here. Uh, see if they can be able to get their shine here instead of like some of these uh, difficult content that we've been testing them out. I've been testing the blue duo up against, uh, what is it? it? There was a time limit mission that we had to do. And I think, it, yeah, it was against Super Boo. And it was atrocious. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to test out a, a, a team build for that mission, but we never got to do it just because of the fact that he is just a pain on my existence here. Okay, so I guess we're going to see the intros of everybody. I, I forgot to turn them off, but sure, we'll, we'll have these on. Uh... But yeah, I do like uh, doing these just for the sake of like letting people know this is, you know, somewhat easy of of a you know something to put out, right? But in, a, in addition to that, I do want to put these out as guides for people to utilize if people have had some sort of difficulty trying to take the uh, take on the super bad road stages uh, or anything like that. I'd be more than happy to just have them uploaded for your leisure. If in any case you guys would want to enjoy it or not. Um, of course, it's always optional to watch these things. So, happy to provide these for you. Uh, let's go. You, you guys are over here. Let me turn off the intro. So we, I love seeing the intros from these guys, but uh, I'll, I'll skip them just for... Just for now, we'll go to Bobbity over here. And it kind of gives a little bit of freedom in a in a sense, because it's not the same as like, oh, you got a no item run versus Kid Boo or no item run versus uh, this guy. And it's like, I mean, I get it, but I don't want to put I don't want to keep continuously putting out like 
these types of content uh, like oh we did a no item run on redstone kid boo or we did a showcase with, with this i still have to do the videos for frieza that is one thing that i haven't done yet uh, showcase frieza which is uh, the newly recently released dokkan festival character in the game and we haven't seen or heard of him in quite some time right uh we got a couple of people who have done showcases on frieza but haven't seen him a, a lot right it's because of that because the uh unfortunate scenario that our boy frieza is not as good as we want him to be or at least the content that is available in the game doesn't make him look good uh but i say the same for those other units that are pretty bad like bardock cca uh like the sub ecas for the golden week celebration I, I don't know i could possibly say that but you know again something different is better i like to put out some different stuff uh instead of you know the same old same old things um uh, but yeah i usually like to put these out because you know it's a helpful guide for other people like if they don't know what they're doing or oh i missed uh doing the super battle road stage and i don't know how to beat it uh this is this is kind of an overpowered team to beat it with uh oh, we got the, the this is the the actual trio of the danger here <laughs> jiren topo and dispo so let's do it like this so jiren got a dokkan fest and topo got a dokkan fest so when is dokkan fest uh dispo coming out that would be pretty sick right dokkan fest topo uh i mean dokkan fest dispo that'll be awesome to see uh the blue boys have uh failed me in terms of dodges and stuff like that and of course i do have them on the thumbnail but kind of wanted to put it out because we are indeed using the blue boys but we're not using uh the actual vegeto card because vegeto is not going to be popping out here unless we are stalling a lot <laughs> we, we don't get to get to see our boy vegeto like on turn five and these guys need to be on a certain H hp threshold so it's uh it is what it is so we can also be able to see units like the 70th anniversary lrs which is sounds baffling but it is something that's going to happen in January of this next year. These guys will ECA. <laughs> and they came out almost three years ago and they're going to get their ECAs. That is nuts to, to even fathom, right? It, it, it's just absolutely crazy, man. I... I whew. <laughs> You hear it in you hear it in movies and things like that. It's like, what? The seventh anniversary of Lars are gonna ECA this next year? Are you kidding me? And to this day, I mean, they have some really good utility. I would say. We we just took them onto the Super Battle Road stage and they just cooked. So uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, we got some other options. I guess you can bring uh, time limit. Unfortunately, there is one unit that I really want them to ECA, and that is the leader for time limit, which is the Tech uh, Gogeta. It is the counterpart for the Fusing Super Vegito, the STR one that got his ECA. That is the other character that really would benefit from an ECA right now. Uh, I feel like he would do stupendously good. So there you go. We got the time limit Super Battle mission done, taken care of pretty simple stuff right uh but time limit is a it's a pretty good team that you guys can be able to try to take it down maybe even free to play i i might have to look into it this was just me trying to take down the fight because i was a little bit mad that i couldn't record a video like uh you know <laughs> with our boy uh bardock but it is what it is but let me know what you guys think time limit uh super bad road taken down beating up uh, done and dusted let me know what you guys think hit that like button subscribe hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys all hopefully in the next one